Our chi, also known as our life force energy, is the most powerful energy within us. It gives life to all things, so it'll give life to ourselves, it'll give life to our manifestations, it'll give life to our spells. You can use your chi and save it within you and build it up and it'll help you ascend your kundalini to become an ascended enlightened master. And chi is light, so when you are filled with light, it brings more light into your life, it makes you brighter, more intelligent, more charismatic, more confident. So it'll help you live forever if you really want to. And so chi, you can either get rid of it and expel it through the orgasm or you can save it and keep it and then use it internally so this is why people do sex magic because they're using their chi or their life force energy when they do orgasm they're basically putting their intentions in that and sending it out to the cosmos because it's a powerful creation energy but you can actually keep that energy within yourself and still do your spells do your manifestations and it's more powerful being within you and attracting and magnetizing what you want into your life because you become more magnetic and attractive and more light through keeping it within yourself rather than expelling it. Now life force energy, it's like connection to God, it's like spirit, it's like soul. I once had the urge to pleasure myself and um, this is the thing, you can if you want to, but if you want to build your chi and build your light and life force within you, you need to try and abstain from doing it at least as much as you can and try and keep your orgasmic energy but I once had it where I wanted to do that and then I saw this dark energy circling above my head and I was like, who are you? And they were like, oh, I'm Lucifer. Lucifer is the demon of lust. And I knew that someone had sent me that energy um, to do that because Lucifer or the person that had sent Lucifer to me wanted me to expel and lose my seed and lose my power so that Lucifer could gain my power. So Lucifer had come to try and to make me feel that horny energy to do that so that Lucifer could steal my energy. Sometimes demons trying to steal your energy. The succubuses, have you heard of those in dream time? Succubuses are basically beings like demons and stuff that will look like your partner or they'll look like a really attractive person in dream time they'll look like someone that you want to have sex with and basically what they do is they try and have sex with you in your dream to steal your energy and so this is the black magicians they are trying to manipulate our sexual life force energy in a negative way and trying to make us expel it and use it for negative things rather than using it for true love and true union and so we, we can't let them win because they try and deplete us of our power and our life force and our energy so that they can maintain their power and life force and, and basically take our energy. They feed off our energy. So they will do all that it takes. This is why SEX is just like promoted in all the movies and this is why loads of people watch P-O-R-N or at least they have done in the past and every time you sleep with anyone you're really sharing your energy you have an absolute really strong and deep energetic connection and like exchange with them you just kind of get so many like different energies like in you around you and near you contaminated with all sorts of demons and baggage and all sorts of stuff that are all the traumas and troubles that the person you've slept with is holding on to it all comes into you you basically get like mingled with it all so like the less partners you have the even better or at least make sure that they're like doing their work sex isn't a bad thing but try and save your seed and try and save your chi and use your sexual life force energy to better you and to better humanity instead